Hello children today we are going to study the second lesson hardware we already learned so many things about hardware in your third standard what are they to remember what are the basic parts of a computer okay let us discuss monitor cpu keyboard and mouse and what are the functions of that first one is the monitor monitor is the display unit of the computer mouse it is used to point the things to a particular point on the screen so this is known as a pointing device keyboard we use keyboard to give data to computer and the last one is the cpu cpu is the central processing unit that is it's the brain of the computer This is the most important part of the computer. In this lesson, we have to study more about CPU. Let us start. CPU, C for Central, P for Processing, and U for Unit. That is the Central Processing Unit. Do you have a brain? Similarly, our computer has its own brain. Then only the computer can work. that brain is the cpu first we are discussing about the important parts in say the cpu first one is motherboard second one is microprocessor third ram and the last one is smps let us discuss each part motherboard it is a printed circuit board pcb this is also known as main board all components of a computer and its related devices are connected to this board different ports are available on this board for connecting different parts that are vgi slash hdmi port is for monitor ps2 or lan ports is for mouse usb ports that is for connecting usb devices that is pen drive printer etc then nic ports that is for connecting network that is you know what is network internet connections next one microprocessor it is a controlling unit of a computer it is fabricated on a small chip it will perform all arithmetic and logical operations and it communicates with all other devices connected to it do you know what is arithmetic simply say it is the operations we performed in our maths like addition multiplication division subtraction and you know what is logical it is a new word to you is it you know what are less than greater than equal to etc that is known as in the term of computer that are known as logical operations look at the picture of microprocessor then next one is ram random access memory the name itself says that it's a memory do you know the term ram i think we studied this in third standard it is the hardware of a computer used to store data temporarily what is meant by temporarily that is temporarily means when power failure happen the stored data will lost so ram needs power to keep data accessible so we must save the files before we shut down the computer otherwise all the data will lost we can't access that look at the picture of the ram next one is the smps switched mode power supply the name itself we can see that what is that power supply that is this device gives the needed power supply for the internal part of the computer that's all internal parts look at the picture of smps 
These are the basic parts inside the CPU. Thank you.